Hi, I'm Kevin Tates. Isopon has a repair solution for almost any damage. And in this video, we're going to be showing you how to use the Isopon Fiberglass Repair Kit. This kit is great for auto body and rust repairs, fiberglass kit cars, as well as wood, metal, plastic, stone, and other materials. So let's take a look at what comes in the box of the Fiberglass Repair Kit for metal, wood, and other materials. You'll find several pair of protective gloves, a resin application brush, mixing sticks and a mixing cup, resin, as well as hardener for the resin, a generous amount of fiberglass matting, as well as a manual that shows you step-by-step -step instructions of every aspect of fiberglass repair. This represents a typical fiberglass repair that's both structural and cosmetic and requires two different stages of repair. To mix the resin, first break the seal and pour an ounce into the provided mixing cup. The mix ratio is one pea-sized drop of catalyst per 10 milliliters of resin, which is easily dispersed into the cup from the foil pack. Then, mix thoroughly until you don't see any streaks in the mixture. The catalyzed resin gets applied using the brush that comes with the kit. And since it's catalyzed now, it needs to be used within five minutes. We're applying the catalyzed resin to both sides of the repair, both on the subject fender and the pieces that have broken off and allow the resin to kick or to cure. This should take about 15 to 30 minutes. We got lucky and our broken parts fit the panel easily, so we're clamping them into place with locking pliers while the resin kicks and hardens. After unclamping the repair, we're wiping it down with acetone, which also works great for cleaning out your mixing cup and your application brush. Using coarse sandpaper on a block, we're leveling the uneven edges to the surrounding area and creating tooth on the fiberglass gel coat for the next level of repair to stick to. For the second portion of this repair, we're cutting our fiberglass matting larger than our repair itself. We can tune it in later. The correct ratio of resin for hardener is one pea-sized dollop per 10 milliliters of resin. We've got 20 milliliters of resin, so we're measuring out two dollops onto the mixing stick and stirring thoroughly. It's very important that you thoroughly mix the hardener into the resin so that no streaks of hardener are visible. Remember, this resin is now activated and it needs to be used within five minutes. Back brush the sanded top side of the repair, add resin to one side of the matting, and place it on top of the repair. Make sure that your fiberglass matting is totally saturated with resin. We're just using a piece of simple tape to wrap the matting around the bottom side and complete the curvature. This needs to set for 20 to 30 minutes until the resin kicks and cures. 
After the resin has dried for 20 to 30 minutes, we can finish up roughing in the repair. And getting the contours, corners, and edges perfectly aligned. To achieve a smooth finish, this fiberglass repair can now be treated with isopon body fillers and painted with the top coat of your choice. Isopon really does have an easy repair solution for almost any damage. So for more information on the fiberglass repair kit and its alternative uses or any other Isopon product, be sure to check out our website at isopon.com. I'm Kevin Tates. Time to go to work.